<laughs> All right, Lisa Briggs standing by outside taking your plant questions at 270-9933. We are awaiting your calls. Hi, Lisa, how are you? I'm good, how are you guys? We're doing great. Warm enough out there? It's a little steamy out here. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit, but you know, the sun makes you glow. Yes. Oh, is that See? what it does? You've got a nice glow about you, <laughs> okay. so go with it. So what sorts of things should we be doing in the yard right now? Well, I think one thing that you can do is if you have a veg garden and you maybe had some things that didn't work out or you have some spaces, it's a perfect time to do like what we call late summer sowing. So anything like lettuce or spinach, all those uh, crops that like cooler weather do really well this time of year. There's plenty of warmth in the soil so the seeds germinate really fast. And you can get things like baby carrots or beets, um, any of the little baby root crops, and then things that really love cold weather, like kale um, and that sort of thing. So that could be something you could do this weekend. It's supposed Char to be cooler Saturday and Sunday. Charlotte heard kale. That's I heard kale and I was like, okay, <laughs> sign me up. <laughs> any transplanting this time of year or just hold off? Um, if you've got iris and you want to thin your iris beds, now is the time to do that. I'm working on that myself started last weekend there were way more iris in that bed than i thought <laughs> mm -hmm. there were about all right halfway through all right okay, well, we, we got we... some calls now let's start with scott in the wisconsin, in wisconsin dells hi scott hey how are you doing good Thank what's your question uh, i've got a question lately we see all around the area the lilac bushes seem to be dying and we don't know why and and they're just like dying there is a disease called, it's a fungal disease called septoria leaf blight. And it has really hit lilacs hard this year. Um, the weather this spring was weird, so a lot of them got anthracnose, but a lot of those um, start off like a dark brown spot and then the patch gets bigger and then the leaf falls off. And it's a fungal disease. So do a really good cleanup this fall, get all of those leaves out of there. And you should be okay next year. Um, scrape a little bit of bark off the stems, and if you've still got nice green growth underneath that bark and you've got buds setting, you'll be fine. Okay. All right, we have another caller, Sandy in Madison. Hi, Sandy, what is your question? Yeah, I'm just wondering if it's too early to be planting like daffodil bulbs and that. Yes, it is too early to plant that kind of thing. So certainly you can buy those things now. If they come in a plastic bag, take them out of the plastic, put them in a flat box so they get good air circulation. But you really want to hold off planting that kind of thing until after the first good frost when the temperature of the ground starts to cool. So that's usually around early to mid-October that you'd October, actually yeah. plant them. Oh. Okay, all right, nice. thanks. Great, thanks for calling. All right, we have Diane from Sun Prairie. Hello, Diane, what's your question? Hello. Uh, do you know if there is an okra seed that I can grow here in this weather? I think okra, is, it's in part of the tomato family, and also peppers and eggplants are in that family. It has a little bit longer um, germination to harvest date, so I think you're sort of past the point of growing it now if you're just starting out. But well, I've, I've got some plants in the in the earth. They just don't seem to be producing uh, as strongly as I would like. It's been a weird year for tomatoes because the temperature's been up and down and all of the crops in that nightshade family are not producing the way they usually do. Especially we've heard it with peppers, but it could be okra as well. That's not a really common crop that, um, that a lot of people plant, but it just might be the year of it. All right, let's go to Angie in Jefferson. Hi, Angie, what's your question? Um, I planted quite a few irises and bay lilies in one area um, over the last two years. And after they bloom, it just sort of looks lackluster. And I'm wondering if I can cut those back and plant annuals in the same area during the summer or if I should just leave them. Like right now, I've just left the, the green growth and it just sort of looks kind of blah. Certainly, you can move your irises now. Uh, cut those long blades back to about four to six inches and then dig up those rhizomes and then move them to another place. For the daylilies, you can move daylilies around as long as they're not flowering. They're pretty tough. So if you want to move those to another place as well where they're maybe behind something so you see the flowers but not the foliage, you can do that now. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right. We are out of time. Thank you all for calling in. Lisa, thanks for coming out today. You're welcome. i see you guys soon. We'll see Thank you soon. You.